Hey guys, welcome back to Snack Time. My name is Ben, and in today's episode, I'm going to kind of start a new series, and I'm going to call this uh, by request. So I'm going to call it that because I get occasionally requests on comments on my videos of, you know, how do you do it one way or how do you do it the, you know this way? And so I figured uh, instead of just making individual videos for people, I can kind of address a wider audience for other people that might be interested in doing the same thing. So my very first request that I'm going to fulfill is I had someone comment on my weekend video asking how you know they could run it locally instead of running it through Nginx Proxy Manager or putting it out there for the whole web to see. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's hop over to our portainer. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is head over to Stacks. Uh, the instructions here are going to be very, very similar to what we did with um, with the original installation, but with a couple of little minor tweaks that I'll show you here. So we're going to go to add stack at the top right. We're going to just call this we can dash. Let's just do dash local. And if you watched my previous video, I I created my own kind of Docker compose file uh, for Portainer. And so we're still going to use Portainer and we're going to use that um, that Docker compose file. So to get to that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to github.com slash snack time. And we're going to click on the snack time YouTube and we're going to click here under YouTube. And then we're going to go to we can. And we're going to open up our Docker compose file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire uh, contents of this file. I'm just going to go. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to click on the copy raw. It's easier and jump back to Portainer. And I'm going to paste this into this field right here for my stacks. And so I'll show you how we're going to allow this to get just on the LAN and not on uh, the Internet. So it's very easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says ports and you can see where that's commented out right here. So what I want to do is I want to uncomment that out and I also want to uncomment out ports. Uh, so just to break this down, what this is doing is this is saying that I'm going to listen. You know, this container is going to listen on, on port 80 on my on my Docker host and it's going to route any traffic that goes to port 80 to port 8080 on the container. I can't really change this without a bunch of effort, but I can change this port. So this is honestly the, the more important one that you want to adjust. If you want it to be on port 80, that's totally cool. Um, if you are running Nginx Proxy Manager on this by some uh, by some chance, it's going to conflict. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit different. I'm going to just make it 85 so I know it's not going to conflict with anything. Um, if we scroll down, everything else is pretty much the same uh, that we ran uh, with the with the Internet version. So let's. All right, so let's go ahead and deploy this. Let's click on deploy at the bottom here. All right, and now we have we can local deployed. We jump into that stack. We can click on our database and it's doing all of its things in the background. Looks like it's starting up. That's cool. All right. So now we want to go to port 85 using the same IP address as our host machine. So you can see right now it's running on the portainer port, which is 9443. So let's do this. Let's open up a, a new tab, but I'm going to copy my IP address. I'll paste this and I'm going to go to colon 85. And we get this because it's not SSL. So we have to make sure this says HTTP because HTTPS was being handled by Nginx Proxy Manager. All right, and here we go. We have our sign in page. Uh, looks pretty normal. Uh, remember, we have to register for our account and that will be our admin account. So I'm just going to call this snack. 
The email address can be whatever you want. Remember, it's going to air out most likely because it's not going to be able to send out email, but that's okay. It's not a requirement. So I'm going to call this info at snacktime.com. Password is whatever I want it to be. And register. Remember, internal server error is okay. Not a big deal. If you get that, just assume that everything went fine. <laughs> so let's click on sign in. And then let's type in our username or our email. Do snack and my password. There we go. Okay. And you're all set. So um, the traffic's not secured, but if it's just over land, I mean, it's, it's up to you. It's Is it important to you? Um, I don't know, uh, but it wasn't requested that it be encrypted traffic. Uh, hopefully your land, you don't have people just hanging around and sniffing traffic. Uh, but if you do, that might be something you want to look into. All right, well, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any follow up questions, feel free to, to comment down below. Otherwise, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, if you haven't already, please like or subscribe and or do both if you want. <laughs> so hope you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.